Game is over for the Apple. I know it's a bit early to talk about the Galaxy S25 Ultra, but this is quite literally unbelievable. Samsung could once and for all end Apple's dominance for good, all thanks to one and only Qualcomm. There's a rumor that the next Snapdragon chip, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, will be even faster than the A18 chip that will be in the iPhone 16. Most people don't need phones that are super fast, but having extra speed is always nice. With phones doing more with artificial intelligence and getting updates for longer, having a faster chip is becoming more important. According to a rumor from South Korea reported by Notebook Check, it said that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 chip will outperform the Apple A18 chip in benchmark tests. The leak suggests that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 could achieve a single core score of 3,500, surpassing the A18's expected score of 3,300. Additionally, the rumor claims that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 will perform better in multi-core tests and will also have a faster GPU. Qualcomm has confirmed that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 will be revealed in October, boasting Orion cores, a significant upgrade over the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. Unlike previous chips that use ARM licensed cores, the Orion cores are custom designed by Qualcomm, providing a competitive advantage. These cores originated from Nuvia, a company acquired by Qualcomm in 2021, initially developed to rival Apple's performance. Expected to be Qualcomm's first 3 nanometer chip, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 is rumored to exclusively feature Phoenix performance cores. Qualcomm appears to be pulling out all the stops to enhance the speed of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, with rumors suggesting significant success. It's speculated that the main core will be clocked at 4.3 GHz, far surpassing the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3's Cortex-X4 peak frequency of 3.30 GHz. However, the increased clock speed may lead to higher power consumption, potentially reaching up to 1.3 V, according to reports. It's true that Qualcomm wouldn't want Snapdragon 8 Gen 4-powered phones to overheat, so they'll likely be cautious about managing power consumption despite the increased clock speed. Additionally, achieving a single core score of 3,500 seems like a significant leap compared to the 2,187 scored by the Galaxy S24 Ultra. So while the new cores and improved manufacturing process may indeed give the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 an edge over the A18, the margin of victory might not be as large as the leaked information suggests. There's also a possibility that Qualcomm is testing different versions of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4. Previous reports mentioned a variant running at lower speeds with single and multi-core scores of 2,845 and 10,628 respectively. If this turns out to be true, the A18 could still maintain its lead in terms of speed. That's it for today. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. As always, see you in the next video. Peace out.